Let's take a look at what we can do with alerting in Grafana 9. So let's begin by navigating to the alerting section of the application by clicking on the alert icon in the sidebar navigation. You can see a list of existing alerts, but for now, let's click new alert rule. We're going to create a Grafana managed alert rule. And this will allow us to use any of the existing data sources we have configured in our Grafana instance. I've prepared a Prometheus query to measure CPU usage. And we'll use this to send an alert when any CPU uses too many resources. We can use a number of expressions to achieve what we want to do. So let's change the classic condition to a reduce expression. And we'll use the last function to select the last data point for each series. We can see what the expression returns by running the query. Now, all we need to do is set a threshold. So let's add a math expression. There are a number of functions available to us, but we won't be needing any in this demo. So let's enter our expression and take another look at the results. Each series that returns one will create an alert instance. So a single query can return one or more alert instances. We call this a multi-dimensional alert. Down below, we can further tweak the alert evaluation behavior. For demonstration purposes, let's set the evaluation interval to 10 seconds and the four to 20 seconds. What this means is the rule will be evaluated every 10 seconds, but an alert instance will only be set to firing if it has exceeded the threshold for at least 20 seconds. By adjusting these parameters, we can prevent alerts from firing too often or too soon. We can preview our alert instances once more to see the state of each instance. And finally, we can add some information to our alert rule and attach labels. Labels are an important concept in Grafana alerting. They are the way that we connect alerts to notification policies and other concepts like silences. So let's add a label called type and one called team and save and exit the rule when we're happy with that. We can see our created rule and let's wait for the first few evaluations. We can see that some CPUs are now impending and this means they have been evaluated and were normal previously, but have not been in an alerting state for long enough. Remember that we specified the alert to go into the firing state only if they have been so for at least 20 seconds. Where are these notifications being sent to? So let's go ahead and go to the notification policies tab to configure where these are being sent. And there's always a root policy. This is the default policy for all alerts. Each notification policy has a contact point. The contact point for our default policy is called Grafana default email. Let's check that one in the contact points tab. Let's edit that contact point and enter our email address. We can add additional contact point types to a single contact point to deliver an alert to multiple channels. In the interest of time, we're not going to add another one, another one here, and instead we're going to take a look at our email inbox. We can see a detailed breakdown of alert instances for each CPU that we've measured. What if we want to send these notifications somewhere else? Suppose we're not interested in these alerts and we want to forward them to a different team. Let's create a new contact point for that. Choose any contact point type, fill in the details. And now we have to create a custom notification policy for this contact point. We'll add a label matcher using the team label that we created earlier and save the policy. So let's revisit what we did so far. We've created a multidimensional alert We've used labels to attach it to a custom notification policy and routed it to a new contact point. What if the alert rule is too noisy and we don't want to receive any notifications for a while? 
we can create a silence for those alerts. Let's silence these alerts for a few hours using the type label we've added earlier. Silences also use label matchers, just like notification policies. Silences are a great way to stop receiving notifications from multiple alerts. But what if we want to stop receiving notifications at a specific time interval? Let's say, for example, that we are doing maintenance on Sundays. We can use mute timings to set up our maintenance window and attach that to our custom notification policy that we created earlier. So let's go ahead and create a new mute timing. We'll give it a name and specify the interval, Sundays. And now we have to attach the mute timing to our notification policy. So let's edit our notification policy, attach the mute timing, and save it. There are many other concepts in Grafana alerting that we didn't have time to get into, but I invite you to take a look at our wonderful documentation at grafana.com. <laughs>